Hi you guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm getting ready to do a Pilates workout. I'm gonna do it in the living room right here. I always mirror my workouts to the TV and then I just move the coffee table all the way and I do my yoga there, my Pilates, my stretching, my leg workouts, pretty much everything I do right here. I have the softest carpet so it's very comfortable and easy to do all of my workouts there so i'm gonna start off with a 20 minute pilates workout and then after that i'm going to head to the bike to do probably 30 minutes of cardio so yes that is the workout for today sometimes i like to do both or do just one or the other but on days where i really want to get a good workout in and do everything i like to do pilates because it's like a full body strengthening workout and then still want to get my cardio in so i'm gonna get my workout started and then probably have some breakfast and then get my day started and i will check in with you guys when i'm done didn't expect to sweat that much but that was a good workout so that was about 15 minutes so I always um, keep track of my workouts on the fitness app on the Apple watch so um, whatever I'm doing whether it's Pilates HIIT workouts they have everything here traditional strength training indoor outdoor walk um, and of course cycling indoor cycle so that was really good. That really was focusing on the legs and the abs. So uh, I'm gonna rest for like five minutes and then head over to the bike. Okay guys, so since next weekend, or not next weekend, next week is Thanksgiving, which is so insane. I can't believe that next week is Thanksgiving. I've been wanting to do a Thanksgiving outfit inspo video, but I figured I can just put it in one of my vlogs and it came at a perfect time because I just got a package from NAKD. They gifted me some clothes that are really cute for fall and for winter cold weather, but also I thought I could make some outfits for Thanksgiving to give you guys some inspo and you know some casual outfits, kind of dressy outfits, but also really chill outfits because we all know Thanksgiving is a very chill holiday. Sometimes some people dress up, I do sometimes, but then other Thanksgivings I'm in sweats in my sweatshirt and I'm just eating and chilling on the couch So I wanted to give you guys some Thanksgiving outfit inspo. Okay, we're starting off simple if you want to just do like a plain Jeans and a long sleeve tee outfit. You can really dress it up with some good accessories like jewelry a nice belt so this top and the pants actually everything I'm wearing is from NAKD I love this long sleeve knit rib black top. It is so comfy and soft. So honestly, it'll be perfect on the day when we're eating a lot. And I got this in a size medium and it's just such a good essential tee. You can wear all season long. And then this belt I love. It's also another good essential belt to have in your wardrobe. I don't have any belts. So this is like one of the first belts I've had in years. Um, so I love how it looks with just the plain black shirt and the jeans and then these jeans you guys I am so obsessed with because they are flared They're pretty flared and I love it so much. So it's just like a nice way 
to dress up a simple top because of the detailing of the pants. And then these heels, they're like a kitten sling heel. These are also from NAKD. I showed these a while back in a previous NAKD haul, but something like this, you know, if you want to be cute and casual, and then you can even throw a coat over it, such as this black wool one, which is also from NAKD. This is the softest coat ever. I love the material. I love the fit. It's a little bit oversized. It's pretty roomy. I got this in a size 38, which is equivalent to US 8. So really, really good size. And I just love how it dresses up any look and then you can even take it up a notch and accessorize it even more i'm sure it's gonna be cold in a lot of places for thanksgiving it's always pretty cold here so you can wear a nice scarf or a cute little hat so something like this could be really cute this big chunky knit scarf and then a little bag to go with it but anyway yeah this is just a really simple cute look that you can do and it's very comfy it's very casual but it's still, you know, kind of nice and dressy. This outfit is one of my faves, definitely something I will wear on Thanksgiving or honestly any occasion. So I got this off the shoulder white top. I think this top is so perfect for the holidays because I think white is just such a great holiday color for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. And you can pair it with any type of bottom. I paired it with this skirt. This cargo skirt is also from NAKD. I got this in my last haul. But yeah, tops like this you can wear with anything and I just think they're so feminine. I love off the shoulder tops, something that kind of like shows your shoulders a little bit, lets it peek through. I think it's just such a really pretty girly look and the material of this is amazing and this isn't like a stark white, it's more of like a cream ivory color. So it's just very elegant looking. So, you know, I love mini skirts with black tights and I also just got these boots from NAKD. I love the look of them. They are so fun, so bold. I love the buckle detailing and they're not too high, so they're super, super comfortable. And they're pretty fitted, but it fits really good. They're a little bit stretchy too, so it's really comfortable. So a mini skirt tight boots is like one of my favorite type of outfit combos, no matter what I wear on top. Alternatively, I would also pair a mini skirt with this brown top because you know this is a very fall thanksgiving harvesty color this top again is from nakd i love it it's so uh lightweight and it's really roomy and just such good quality and then these boots these are like a crocodile faux croc um brown boot i love 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 them because they're so comfortable i love the pointed toe the color the design there's an up close and the heel height is not too Hi, and it's really uh, wide cap. And don't mind the tripod back there. I'm filming a TikTok at the same time. I'm multitasking. I'm gonna post a reel and a TikTok with my Thanksgiving outfits. But yeah, I love this top. Yeah, I totally would wear this top with honestly anything on the bottom. Maybe some jeans also if you wanna be more casual. So if you wanna take it even more cozy and comfy and casual, a really cute cardigan, something like this is perfect. I love this leopard print one from NAKD. It is so soft, you guys. This feels like a blanket. If it's cold outside, I will be wearing this on Thanksgiving. This is also like a cute after eating outfit, maybe if you're home, because sometimes I change outfits. When I go to my parents' house, I like pack a bag and I'll bring like different clothes with me. So, you know, after all the eating, you just wanna be comfy, but still cute. You can put on a cute cardigan and a little t-shirt underneath. This is just like a tank uh, turtleneck top. That's old and then I'm just wearing some black jeans and I'm wearing my Dr. Martens with it. Something casual and comfy, but again, it's still cute. It's still put together. It still looks like, you know, you put some effort into the outfit. So I love this one. This is something I would totally wear even to the office. Like if I still had an office job, I would totally wear this cardigan. It's really, really warm. So if it's cold where you're at, this is perfect because I'm literally sweating right now wearing this. So will definitely keep me warm and I'm just so obsessed with the print. Okay, so that's all for the haul and the Thanksgiving outfits. Hope you guys got some inspo. So if you wanna buy anything that I mentioned from NAKD or if you wanna shop the website, I have a code, it's Stephanie Rose. You can get 20% off when you sign up for an account. You can sign up using the app or on the website. But yeah, I'll link everything that I mentioned in my description. That just got me so excited for Thanksgiving. I was thinking about turkey the whole time and mashed potatoes and mm, I cannot wait to eat next week. Hope you guys are excited for Thanksgiving too. I don't know if this might be my last vlog before Thanksgiving, because I might take like a little breaky break before the holiday, or maybe I'll vlog one more time, but yeah. Okay, so I have some work to finish up. I'm gonna edit some content 
and I need to shoot a couple of sponsorships. And then I have a couple of pickup orders, so I'm gonna go shopping later after work and I will catch up with you guys later. Hi guys, it's a few hours later. So I'm on my way to go to a couple stores. I have a couple pickup orders and I also want to go to Home Goods, which is where I'm going right now. I am looking for a new runner in my dining table. I think I mentioned in the last vlog, I'm trying to change up my dining table a little bit and I just really want a new runner. That's all I'm really gonna change and then add new lights. I did get some lights from Target, which is one of my pickup orders. And yeah, I just want to change the dining room a little bit. That's really the only thing that's bothering me in terms of decor. So I'm going to go to Home Goods, try to find a nice, cheap runner. And now it's literally like about to be dark, even though it's only 3.30 in the afternoon. Unpopular opinion, but I actually really like daylight savings. I kind of like when it gets darker earlier. And I never used to like it. I always used to be very anti get it getting dark earlier. But I like it now because it makes me feel like I have... A really long night because I'm a night person and so with it getting darker earlier it just feels like my nights are so much longer so I kind of appreciate that but I don't like to vlog when it's dark I like to vlog with natural daylight sunlight so that's the only thing that I don't like about it and it just makes me feel like the days are so short now but other than that I do kind of like it and I know that's a very unpopular opinion I know most people don't like it after this I am done decor shopping because it needs to stop <laughs> I need to stop I do not need anything. I really don't. But that runner that is on my table right now, that was like a cheap 99 cents runner. And it's not the best quality. It's actually ripping and oof. So after this trip to Home Goods, I hopefully will not go again. That's a lie. I'm lying to myself. I'll, I will probably go again. But I actually haven't been to Home Goods yet to see their Christmas stuff. Um, I've been to Home Sense and Target and Michaels and that. And at home, have I been to at home? Yes, I have. But I actually haven't been to Home Goods yet, so this will be my first time seeing the Christmas selection. I also like their food section, like the pastas and chips and desserts and the little like cookie, you know, section that they have in Home Goods because they have really cute holiday stuff. So maybe I'll get some of those because I'm always gonna buy food. I'm always gonna buy little treats and sweets. But yeah, the goal today is get a runner, and the other two stores to get my pickup orders: Target, I mentioned. And then Bath and Body Works. I actually got a couple presents for my mom and I'm really excited about those. And then I got some more wallflowers that are Christmas scented. So I'll show you guys everything when I get home. But I'm about to be in Home Goods. So let's see what they have. And I'll show you guys what I find. I'm back home. I want to show you guys everything I got because I found what I needed for the dining table and I'm so excited to update it. So first off, I went to Target and I got a few random things, but this is what I'm most excited about. I'm gonna read the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I am a huge, 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 huge Hunger Games fan. I think that's my favorite book slash movie franchise out of all of them. I read all the books multiple times, probably four or five times each and I've seen all the movies a thousand times. So I just never got around to reading this one. I don't know why. I think it's because it didn't have any of the original characters in it except for President Snow. So I wasn't interested because I really kind of attached and latched on to Katniss and Peeta and all the original characters in the first three books. So when I heard about this book and found out it's a prequel to the others, I wasn't that interested. But the movie's coming out this weekend and I've seen the trailers and I've kind of looked more into the story and so now I really, really want to read it. So I got this today. I'm going to try to read this before the movie. So today is Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, today's Wednesday. And we got tickets to see the movie on Saturday. So I'm going to try to finish before then. It's 500 pages. I can definitely do it. Um, I just really need to dedicate time. So I think I'm going to start reading this tonight. I'm so excited. I love the Hunger Games. So, and then I got some food. I got these protein pack quick bites. These are like turkey sausages with cheese. And I just like these for a snack because it has 11 grams of protein and these actually keep me full for a while. So in between meals, um, I'll just grab one of those when I don't have time to prepare a snack. And then I got some more of the apple Gouda cheese sausages. I always get these. I always eat these for breakfast. And I did get these little twinkle lights. 
and this is what I want to put on the dining table on the wreath that's running across the table and these were on sale for three dollars each so I got three of them just in case I need them because I wasn't sure how long they were um, it says it's nine feet long nine foot seven. Oh, that's actually pretty pretty long I might only need one of them but maybe I'll layer them up or I might add one to the garland that's hanging above my round mirror because I feel like it would look cute. And these are really, really thin. They're twinkly lights. And the color of the wire is green, so it'll blend in with the wreaths. So it's battery operated and it does have timer modes, which is nice. So I can turn them on at night and they'll turn off automatically after six hours, it says. And I wonder what batteries, oh, I hope I have batteries. This is what they look like, very thin wire twinkle lights and i think it's double a two double a's which i believe i have so i'm so excited to see how they look i just feel like it'll add more lighting or more i don't know better vibes at night so that's it from target and then home goods i saw a lot of really cute christmas stuff but i didn't get anything christmasy but i did find a runner for the table and this is exactly what i was looking for something kind of neutral but a little bit um, I don't know what the word is like farmhouse not farmhouse like kind of natural I guess so this is from the Rachel Zoe line Zoe is it Zoe Rachel Zoe it was 20 bucks and it is just a plain kind of like a sweater it looks like a sweater almost or I don't know what you would call this like teddy material I'm not sure but it looks so pretty so love that we're gonna swap that out with the current one and then I also got from Home Goods this little wicker basket because if you watch my last vlog, I showed you guys my workout towels that are right next to my Peloton bike. And I mentioned how I wanted to get a little basket for my towels. So that's what I got this for. This was like seven bucks. So I'm gonna fold them up and have them neatly arranged. And I think it'll just be a nice way to organize those. Lastly, I got a pickup order from Bath and Body Works. I got a really good deal on all these things because they were doing buy to get two free on the wallflowers. So I got all Christmas scented wallflowers, winter candy apple, one of my favorite scents for years, the perfect Christmas. And then I got this one is fresh bal balsam. I can never say that word. Is that how you say it? Balsam? Fresh bomb? I don't know. But I want to put this in the wallflower. I actually have one that's in the wall right behind the Christmas tree. So I wanna put this right there so that it'll kind of give the illusion of a fresh real tree. And then the last one I got is under the Christmas tree. So I just got four because I think that's all I'm gonna need, honestly, for the season. They last pretty, pretty long, I'd say, maybe two or three weeks they last. So I think that'll maybe hold me over for the season. And so I got these for my mom, I'm gonna give these to her. The candles I believe right now are $14.95 for all three wet candles. So I got it on sale and this is Wildberry and Ube. Judy Travis of It's Judy Time. I love her, I always watch her vlogs. And uh, she posted this on her story. Mmm, <sighs> Ube. If you're not familiar with Ube, it's a purple yam that's native. I believe it's native to the Philippines. It's very popular with Filipinos, but it tastes so good. Yeah, it's just really popular in the Philippines. My mom loves Ube. She always eats it. So I thought this would be a really cute gift for her. She also loves these candles. We actually gift each other in my family. Like my dad always gives us these candles for Christmas and me and my mom always give each other these candles for Christmas. So this is what I will give her. And then this is the same scent, but in soap. And I got this for free because I had rewards. So I think altogether for all these, I paid like $25. So pretty good deal today. And that's all we got today. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm going to fix up the new dining table. I'm so excited for these little twinkly lights. I hope they are not cheap and they don't break down. The reviews were okay online. But yeah, we're gonna see what happens and I'm excited.
Okay guys, I just put the battery in the lights and oh my gosh, so pretty. They're a lot brighter than I expected. So I think I'm gonna take two of them and put them on the wreath, but I just wanted to show you the um, control of it. I don't know if you can see. It says timer on and off. So to turn it off is just the middle and then if you wanna keep them on uh, manually and then the timer. So that is really cool. I'm gonna arrange them now. It's gonna look so pretty. I'm gonna just see first what it looks like, just one of them, because I think I wanna put one of them on the wreath that's in the um, hallway too. I think we're gonna just put them on all the wreaths. All right, so here's how it turned out. I love it, so beautiful. The twinkling lights just complete the look. So yeah, the runner is much better quality than the previous one and the way I wrap the lights, I kind of just brought them straight down but I kind of tried to put the branches over them so that they won't get loose or fly away. So yeah, I probably could fix it up a little bit but yeah, I tried to put it under the branches and then I hid the little battery part, I hid it under the wreath um, so that it won't be showing. So there it is, that's how it turned out. Let's turn off the lights and see it in the dark. Oh yeah, oh that's so cute, I love it. So I'll link the twinkle lights in the description from Target on sale for $3, so grab it now before they sell out. I'm pretty sure they'll sell out quick because such a good deal. I added the third twinkly fairy lights to the garland that's in the hallway and obsessed. Guys, I need to go back and buy more because now I wanna put this on the garland that's sitting on the TV stand. And I also wanna put some on this little tree. I wanna put them everywhere. So adorable, oh my gosh. So yeah, we're definitely gonna buy some more for this garland. I think it would look really cute at nighttime. And then also I wanna get Maybe one more or two more for the garland on the TV stand. I don't know if that's overdoing it, but I'm just so obsessed. So might go buy three more. I mean, might as well. They're only $3 each. There we go. The updated table scape. I'm making some chicken tikka masala for dinner tonight. I got this sauce at Target. I've never tried it. I hope it's good. So yeah, we're gonna try it for the first time tonight. I'm just grilling some chicken that I seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne, paprika. And then I also chopped up some onion and garlic and I just threw that all in there. So once it's all cooked, I'll add the sauce, let it simmer, add it to some white rice and that's dinner. Mmm, smells so good. Here's how it turned out. Smells pretty good, looks pretty good. So now for the taste test. Mmm, pretty good. It doesn't taste like authentic tikka masala, kind of slightly. I mean, it's good, but it doesn't exactly taste like it. I like it, so I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna have my dinner and enjoy it. And then I'm just dying to start reading that book, so I'm gonna get ready for bed after I eat dinner and 
start reading. Okay guys, I'm about to read my book. I made myself a cup of ginger tea with honey and I made it all cozy in the living room. We have a little fireplace going on the TV. This is my reading spot. I turned on this lamp. I sit right under it and it's the perfect little reading nook. I transferred to the bed so I can read comfortably before I sleep I'm 100 pages in it's been like three hours and I got a lot of reading done it's so good so far I really like it but I still have 400 pages left I haven't even made a dent yet but I'm gonna go to bed now that's why I like reading when I can't sleep because it really makes me sleepy and helps me sleep well so yes okay guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one